I think I'm just going to leave this one in there. If I had the right one, I'd put it in. Go with that. Leave that because all these are too skinny. Down easier than it went in or came up. I don't know. What I found is when you kind of have it angled around in a circle with this stuff, it seems like that makes it easier. I guess I can't figure out how you push that thing in that notch. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> we're gonna find we're gonna find out when we get to the notch, I think. Cause I don't know. I really don't know. How we're gonna do how I'm gonna do that. Well I'm out of reach now. That's okay. I think with how this is going to push in there, I'm not exactly sure. See, that, that pushes it out there. You can't see it at all. You can see you got, got a flashlight there. I might, uh, I wonder if I should get a, yeah, I got a flashlight here. But I wonder if I should get a, I think I should get some kind of a pipe to kind of sit, stick down alongside of here to push it in that way, or... I guess if you get it started, then you can see what it looks like, though, how it works down there. But, see, it's... see, that's what they never, nobody ever explained on any, any of those YouTube videos, how you actually get this to go in, to, go, to go into that side hole. <laughs> Maybe it's not. <laughs> well, one thing, if this goes down, it almost has to go in there. But I might have to, I can envision pushing something down onto oh, this to kind of yeah, force yeah, it in, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'll let it down and find out. I like you there somewhere. Right, right there. Just to go down there. See, that's gonna. So that pinches in, and it goes down the tube. Oh, okay. Okay. I got my mark right here. I put a mark oh, okay. on that side there.
Oh, okay. I think if you line it up. Oh, look it. Yeah, anyway. Got it in there. It's in there. Hmm. Huh. That was enough of a spring to push it in there. to unscrew this maybe there's the old one this is the new one I really don't know if I have to change it or not but I think to be safe I'm going to change it And unfortunately, it has to be in a really bad spot. Hmm. Okay. So basically, it looks, looks like a capacitor. And whatever. I do not know anything about electronics, but that's what it looks like. Okay. So let's see what this one looks like. So guess what? This one looks like a capacitor and some gizmo. Looks pretty close to the same. Okay, so after my family thinks I'm talking to somebody in here, those are identical. You can take out the old one and put on the new one. Just like that. Just for good measure, I'll put in, put in a new screw. That was almost too easy. I'm impressed, considering the old one is 21 years old plus. done. Alright, bleach is going down. Coming up momentarily. Check one. All right, so I turned these off so the water won't get, go into the hot water heater for right now. And pressure came up nicely. I'll have to readjust that upward because I had it adjusted down for the bad pump. So that will have to be adjusted. Ready to turn this on. Like that. Now we're going to run some water somewhere. Our back water doesn't go through the softener, so we're going to turn that on and let that run and purge out the, uh, the bleach through the system.
<laughs> okay, we'll just let that run and I think I'm going to go adjust the pressure a little bit too. We'll rat it. Okay, we're about done here. There's two nuts on on this pressure switch here. And I don't know what you can see in there. I have no idea. Anyway, you adjust the big nut raises both the uh, on and off, the cut on, cut off uh, pressures. So it, it raises both cut on and cut off up. The small nut raises just the uh, cut on, or the cut off pressure, excuse me. So cut on and cut off raises together, and the small nut over here raises just the uh, cut off pressure. All right, so we're just gonna stuff the turkey here, put this back together. Jam everything back down in here. Let's see if we can get this cable to kind of snake around in here somehow. All right, one handed is not working. Turning camera off for a second. Well, all I can say is thank God that that was easy as it was um glad for all those people on youtube that put up a video maybe this one helped somebody maybe it didn't uh you know you get to see something anyway here about how to pull up a uh, submersible pump it's definitely not a how-to video it's just how i did so you're on your own i'm not telling you how to do it no way no how you got to figure that out yourself. I figured it out myself. Never done it before. So if there was rookie mistakes made, that's my rookie mistakes. Don't follow them. But anyway, thank God it worked. Thank God it was <laughs> in the summer, at the tail end of summer, but not under three foot of snow or 20 below um, outside here in Minnesota because I'd have been hating life if that's what we had to do and uh, pull the well up at that kind of temperature much better when it's 80 or 85 degrees out and everything's nice and uh, pliable flexible and um yeah as much as i hate the mosquitoes i would rather endure them today than be freezing today out there pulling a well but regardless not too hard i would suggest got to have two people you know this one was a 67 70 foot well and the drop down to the pump i think is about 40 feet um the other thing really helps is we saved our paperwork from the original installation so uh, when it came to getting a pump set up uh, and or finding the right pump and so on and putting it in that was extremely helpful just having that paperwork that the well girl had and he had a nice a little printout that he gave us and that was fantastic other than that thanks for watching and we'll see you around adios